How to create a coupon on Seller Central. My name is Sydney Harries with my Amazon guide, and today I'll be walking you through the steps of creating a coupon on Seller Central. So first, go ahead and log on to sellercentral.amazon.com. Then once here, underneath advertising, click on coupons and this page should appear. If it's your first time creating a coupon, um, you'll see this page that gives you a little bit of intro and a little bit of um, help on creating your first coupon of how to get started as well as a video. So this has been really helpful and you can go ahead and check this out as well. If you are already created some coupons, but you need some help, you can go ahead and just search in the, in the search bar coupons and you'll find this information and um, a step-by-step -step on what you can do. So first we're going to go ahead and click on the create your first coupon. In this case, you will add products to your coupon. So you're able to add up to 50 ASINs to one coupon and you can either do it by SKU or ASIN. So in this case, we'll just go ahead and put in an ASIN. Then you would go ahead and say, add to coupon. Once you're added to coupon and you've gone ahead and searched all your SKUs or ASINs and you've added all the specific ASINs that you want, then you would go ahead and click continue to next step. Then you're able to have two options here on the discount that you want. You're able to give the first is the money off or the percent off. So in this case, um, we'll do money off, but if you were to do percentage, it just switches to percentage right here. So in this case, we'll say a $10 coupon and, our, and it asks here, do you want to limit the um, redemption of your coupon to one per customer? So you're able to limit it just to one or if you want it to be redeemed by um, multiple times by the same person, you're able to click those two different options right here in the left-hand corner. The second thing that you're going to do, or the third thing, is you're going to um, set your budget. So as it says, it has a $100 minimum, and they're not exactly hard limits like it mentions, but it's just um, for planning purposes only. So in this case, we'll say the budget is $300. And once you've done that, you go ahead and click continue to next step. So you can give it a coupon title. So in this case, the ASIN that we picked was bowls. So we'll just say like, say $10 on bowls. But if you had a specific um, item or brand that you'd like to advertise a coupon as, go ahead and write it in those. And it has a title guideline so you can see the information and what's available. You're also able to target specific customers. So if you want this coupon to be only available to Amazon Prime, um, customers, you're able to select that or you can have it for everybody. Then once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and select a schedule. So a duration of for how long you want your coupon to last. And this can be anywhere from one to 90 days. So in this case, we'll do a start date just as today, the 19th of October, 2020, and we'll end it a week. So the 26th of 2020. Then you click continue to next step, and this will give you a coupon preview. And it's like it says the actual coupon image may differ a little bit on the website, but it gives you the products that are listed on the coupons and it gives you the, the information of um, what you selected. So your coupon title, your budget, your start date and end date, as well as what customers you're targeting and the, the restrictions that you've put on the coupon. So in this case, if you reviewed this and everything looks like okay, you're going to go ahead and click submit coupon. In that case, it will be reviewed by Amazon and will go live. Um, and if you need help with any of this or anything on Amazon related, creating a coupon, advertising, feel free to go to myamazonguy.com, book a coaching call with us, and we're here to grow your sales on Amazon.